Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. Today's lesson is going to be about using a coin card. A coin card is just another method that we can use to solve multiplication problems. So for example, we might choose to use it to solve a two digit multiplied by a two digit, or a three digit multiplied by a two digit, or bigger and um, more complicated questions. So today's learning intention, I am learning to multiply. The skills that we will be using today, we will be using our knowledge of doubling, our knowledge of halving, we will be able to multiply by 10 and 100. We'll be using addition strategies. And by the end, we'll be able to use a coin card to solve multiplication problems. So first of all, what is a coin card? So a coin card breaks multiplication down into smaller chunks to make it a, a little bit simpler for us to, to solve these bigger problems. It uses the coins that we use in everyday life to help simplify the problems. So let's have a look at an example. If we had a question that said create a coin card for 26, we would draw a grid out similar to this. We think about the coins that we use in everyday life. We have 1 pence, 2 pence, 5 pence, 10 pence, 20 pence, 50 pence, a 1 pound coin and a 2 pound coin. So we write these numbers down the side because these are the coins that we use. And that is where the strategy gets its name, coin card. We then start filling in the answers to these questions. So what is 26 multiplied by 1? That's nice and simple, it's just 26, so we can write that answer in. We then look at um, 10, what's 26 multiplied by 10? Should be nice and simple for us, it's 260. We then look at the 100, so what is 26 multiplied by 100? And we should get 2600 for that one. We're then going to use our knowledge of doubling to find the answer for 2 times 26 because tending by 2 multiplying by 2 is exactly the same as doubling. So double 26 and we get 52 so we can write the answer in there. To find the answer for the 20 we just multiply our answer for 2 by 10 because 2 times 10 is 20 so if we times our answer for 2 by 10 we'll get the answer for 20 so we get 520. We then multiply the answer by 100, the answer for 2 by 100, to get the answer for 200. So for 200, we should get 5,200. The last step in solving a coin card is using our knowledge of halving. So we half the 10 to find the answer for 5, because half of 10 is 5. So if we half the answer for 10, we'll find the answer for 5. So we have to half. 260 and we get 130 for that. To find the answer for 50 we can times the answer that we have for half by 10 because 5 times 10 is 50 so if we multiply the answer we have for 5 we get the answer for 50 so we get 1300. That is how we have completed our coin card today. Pause the video and go back and have a wee look if anything was confusing for you and now we're going to have a wee look at examples of questions that we can use this coin card to answer. So for example we might have a question that says find the answer to 26 times 52. What we would do is we need to work out how to make 52. So in this example we would use 50 and we would use 2. So we're going to be using 1352. We're going to put them in a chimney sum or any other addition strategy to work out what that the sum is. So the answer to that, 1,300 plus 52 is 1,352. So 26 multiplied by 52 is 1,352. Another question might be 73 multiplied by 26. So this time we're going to have to make up 73. So we could use the 50, the 20, the 2 and the 1 to make 73. So in an addition sum at the side we're going to use 1300, 520, 52 and 26 to solve the problem. Taking our time to add that up and we should get 1898 as the answer to that multiplication sum. Last but not least we might have a 3 digit multiplied by a 2 digit so 26 multiplied by 125. So this time we need to work out how to make 125. So I'm going to use 100, 20 and 5. So I'm going to add up 2,600, 520 and 130 in an addition sum. And taking my time to add that up, 
I got 3,250 and that is the answer to the multiplication problem. What I've got for you now guys is some practice. I've got a mild and I've got a medium. Mild keeps it simple and just creating a coin card for 12 and then some problems for you to solve. Medium is a little bit more tricky and we're making a coin card for 78 and then some problems for us to solve. So this will take you a little bit of time, so pause the video here and work your way through these three problems. Okay guys, hopefully you've had time to work through these problems, so let's see if we can work through the answers together. I'm going to do mild first, so we're creating a coin card for 12 first of all. So we should have laid out our grid um, like this and then began to solve it. So our answers should be looking like this for the coin card for 12. If you haven't got the coin card correct, you probably want to pause the video now because it might mean that the prob your answers for the multiplication problems might be wrong. So if you've got any of these wrong, pause here and see if you can have another wee look. If not, let's continue. So the first question was solve 12 times 23. So we need to make 23. So I'm going to use 20, 2 and 1 to make an addition sum 4. So I'm going to add up 240, add 24, add 12 and I get 276. So the answer to 12 multiplied by 23 is 276. The next question was 12 times 18. So I'm going to use 10, 5, 2 and 1 to make 18. Adding them up in a chimney sum at the side, I got 216. So the answer to 12 times 18 is 216. The last question there <coughs> was 12 times 51. So to make 51, I'm going to use 50 and 1. So I'm going to add 600, add 12, and I get 612 for the answer. Well done if you managed to get those questions correct. Let's have a wee look at the medium questions. So for medium, we were creating a coin card for 78. So first things first, we write out our coin card like this. And the answers for our coin card should have been this. Again, if you have got any of these incorrect, I would recommend pausing the video here and having another wee look because it probably means that your multiplication um, questions are going to be wrong. So take the time to double check and come back. If we manage to get our coin card correct, let's have a look at how we can solve these problems. So the first one there was 78 times 52, so I need to make 52, so I'm going to use the 50 and the 2. So I'm going to add up 3,900 and 156, and I get 4,056 for the answer for that first multiplication problem. The second problem was 78 times 91. This time I'm going to use 50, I'm going to use the 20 twice, so I've marked that I'm going to use it twice, and 1. So my sum at the side is 3,900 add 1,560, 1,560 again, and then 78. Taking my time to add those up, and we should have got 7,098 for the answer for that problem. The last one on medium was 78 times 126 so i need to make 126 so i'm going to use 100 20 5 and 1 adding them up at the side and i got 9828 for that last problem that was a very quick video on how to use a coin card um, please go back and obviously look at the strategy again take your time see if you um, can work out how to do other ones, maybe set yourself some challenges to work out other coin cards for other numbers. There are some common mistakes that can happen um, during using a coin card. So the number one common mistake is doubling or halving errors. If you need to revise how to use these strategies, have another look at the doubling and halving videos and that might help you with those skills. Another common mistake can be addition errors maybe choosing the wrong numbers to add up to your totals or adding up the numbers incorrectly in a chimney sum or other addition strategies. So make sure you take, take your time and double check your work at all times. Well done everyone. Hopefully today you have developed your knowledge of how to use a coin card. You've developed your skills of doubling and halving. You'll be able to use multiplying by 10 and 100 
and you've used addition strategies as well. Well done, I'll speak to you soon.